Okay, so welcome back to another brand new video today. And this is something a bit different. Now, as many of you know, I've been drop shipping with Google Ads for the last two to three years and have seen some very, very good results. But there was life before Google Ads with drop shipping for me. I made my very first drop shipping sale back in 2017. And in today's video, I'm gonna be going back to 2017 and sharing with you my entire e-commerce drop shipping journey from 2017 to present day, revealing some of the niches I previously had websites in, the sales volume of these sites, you know, the profit, etc. So definitely stick around for this entire video. It's gonna be very, very useful. And I'm gonna be dropping a lot of good information here that you guys can use in your journeys with your own drop shipping stores. Now, just before we do get started, you can see I've upgraded my camera. Let me know what you think of the quality down below. I'm still uh, getting used to the settings if you like, so there will be some changes in future videos, but I'm liking what it looks like so far. And if you do need help with your e-commerce stores, I do have a Google Ads agency. So if you are running Google Ads and are struggling, make sure to hit me up on Twitter or Instagram. I'll leave links to those down below. You guys can drop me a message on there and we'll do all the heavy lifting for you will manage your google ads grow them for you so you can increase the overall performance of your business so jumping back now to 2017 august 2017 to be exact i made my very first drop shipping website after seeing some people on youtube i actually now think it was dan de silva was the very first video i saw for drop shipping on youtube so shout out to him and i thoroughly remember him doing a video on a website that he was making i believe he just made this website uh, as a demonstration site for his videos but he was selling gaming keyboards and gaming mouse now me being new into the space i was so eager to get started i immediately made my own shopify website of course i didn't think to research and find different products i also added gaming keyboards, gaming headsets, anything that sort of um, uh, category if you like, I added those to my website and I presume a lot of other people would have done as well who watched those videos but you know I was very new back then and that was what I did. Now before I even spent any money on ads I decided to stop doing that because I realized it was a terrible idea because loads of other people probably have done it and at the time fidget spinners were going crazy again not really using my brain just jumping on the first thing I could think of and I added these um, you know a variety of fidget spinners to the website but a particular product that sold twice in the first 24 hours of running Facebook ads were these fidget cubes. I'll chuck an image up on screen now, you'll all know what they are. But I essentially launched Facebook ads for this website back in 2017. And when I woke up the next morning, I had two Shopify sale notifications and it was for this product here. And they were literally two orders equaling, you know, $7 each or something ridiculous like that. But seeing those notifications, I'm sure if you guys have had your first sale on Shopify, you know how motivating that is. And seeing that just wanted to make me, you know, carry on and pursue this because I knew this could work long term. But around two weeks later, sales didn't really continue to come in. I maybe had one or two here and there over the next week or so, but I knew we had to expand this further. I knew we needed to build a brand rather than drop shipping, you know, products that are worth five or ten dollars because you're not really going to get anywhere because you've got no room to play with margins and you know once you pay for the product you're not going to be getting you know two pound cost per purchase on facebook to make a profit on these sort of products so i made a separate website and launched a a women's underwear website believe it or not because those were the first things that i saw on aliexpress they looked really good you know really good image quality and back in the day in 2017 you could advertise those sort of products on facebook without getting banned now if you try to advertise any product that you know has an image in the ad that is just showing the slightest bit of skin it will get rejected so i was lucky enough to make a decent profit out of that back in 2017 i sadly don't have the shopify open anymore i closed that about a year later but off the top of my head that did actually do around a hundred thousand dollars revenue in the first 10 to 12 months i think and after that moving into 2018 Facebook began to get stricter and then they then started to reject the ads and things like that which is annoying but I made my first good bit of money with drop shipping from selling women's underwear but like I said just now you probably won't be able to get away with that on Facebook anymore and if you can't tell already I used Facebook a lot before Google ads but I'll get onto that in a little bit on how we um, ended up switching over should I say to Google ads now shifting over into 2018 one popular drop shipping method I used 
going from 2017 into 2018. They did this for about six months really successfully. That was the free plus shipping method. And if I can, I'll pop a picture of the product I use for this on screen now. Again, you can see why this worked, you know, five years ago, because these sort of pictures were allowed to be advertised on Facebook. In my opinion, there's nothing wrong with the pictures because you're obviously advertising a bikini top, but I get now that Facebook policies are a lot stricter. So that sort of picture is deemed inappropriate to Facebook. And that's why they will reject ads if you're sharing a picture like that. I mean, it is a very annoying because it, you know, if you're a business that uh, has been running for a long time that sells these sort of products, you're probably having a hard time getting your ads approved on Facebook. But luckily, I was able to do free plus shipping with this for about six months pretty successfully. I believe I sold around five to 600 units of this. And obviously, the product was free. But when the customer got to the checkout page, it was, I think, $9.99 shipping. And then there was a more expensive shipping option that was like $13.99 or something. And the product only cost, I think, $3 to ship to America. So, so nice margins involved there. But obviously, again, you're only getting an AOV of about $10 to $15. So it's not really scalable to the heights of products that sell for, you know, $100 plus, which is what we are currently doing with Google. Now, just before we do move on into 2018 further, drop a comment down below, guys. Let me know when you started your drop shipping journey and let me know how it is going today. I'll be very interested to see. I do read all the comments as well. Now, obviously, I had success with the women's underwear. So I decided to open another store in 2018, February 2018 this was, and that was women's clothing in general. Now, obviously, I was very careful with the images I was using to not get banned and not use images that reveal too much skin. And that was the phrase Facebook always told me, you know, you can't use images with too much skin showing. So I was selling wintry clothing products like coats and jackets for, for women. Um, you know, those sort of products that you can pretty much get away with advertising now. Because I was actually doing YouTube back in 2018 as well, making FIFA videos. I'm sure some of you know that already. This site took a couple of months to get going. The products were very long winded to add because the amount of variants, colors, sizes there were to these women's products. So I launched around April, May time. Time of 2018 now luckily my current USA website uses the same Shopify that this website had now I will flick over to the uh, dashboard in a minute to show you the numbers and it's pretty cool I mean you can see here if we just cut over here I'll make sure to put my face in the bottom left hand corner this is the essentially the lifetime um, data for my American Shopify dropshipping store. Now you can see today we are doing some crazy numbers. Um, you know, seven thousand dollar day here, very nice indeed. Things are taking off massively thanks to Performance Max campaigns, but we're not here to talk about that at the moment. We're here to talk about 2018. Now you can see we opened this store. Looks like mid-May, and you can see we had some really good success thousand dollar days two thousand dollar days and the margins on this i just remember were absolutely ridiculous i was making 50 60 percent profit margins from facebook ads and women's clothing it honestly was incredible i remember that summer particularly 2018 you can see this summer here was just the best time ever for me in drop shipping i know it sounds silly because of the you know the revenue and stuff i'm doing now and i'm obviously making more profit now but when you get your first taste of proper good profit and money it just cannot be beaten that feeling cannot be beaten and i'm you know i'm sure some of you experienced that already and if you haven't stick at it because if you try hard enough it certainly will happen for you as well but obviously, then you look at the big picture here for this store, we have done $1.7.5 million worth of sales, which is just, you know, incredible. Add that to the, what, $100,000 I said we did on the women's underwear site before this, which is using a different store. We're getting close to $2 million already, which is just so, so good. And don't forget, I've got my UK site as well, and that's more of a newer site. But don't worry, we will be jumping into the Shopify in a bit on that so you can see the numbers on there as well. Now, sadly, towards the end of the summer 2018, you can see we took a massive dip just here. And that is because my Facebook account got restricted. And by that, I mean my personal Facebook got restricted. Obviously, very frustrating. That meant I couldn't run ads. I couldn't make new ad accounts. Couldn't make any business managers. I was essentially banned from Facebook. So my first idea and my first thought was to use Snapchat ads. At the time, Snapchat was a lot bigger than I believe it is now. I don't really use it anymore. But Snapchat was doing well. And that sort of allowed me to scale up a bit, not quite to where I was, but it allowed me to find some consistency moving into 2019. And also towards the end of 2018, I opened my very first Google Ads account for this store. Now, I remember very, very well 
making just a single Google Ads campaign, a Google Shopping campaign, you know, standard shopping, manual CPC, that sort of thing. And the first ever order I got on that was a $250 order. I remember it so well and thought, you know, here we go, I'm onto something here. But it took around two years to 2020 before I properly started using Google. It never really took off with the clothing website. And to me, that is just down to the fact it's clothing. It's very personal, you know, personal taste. People have their preferences with clothing. It's very hard to get in front of the exact person that is gonna buy that product because everyone has their own personal preference when it comes to clothing. So that only coasted along, you know, it coasted along throughout 2019 um, with Google, only spending about $50 a day, getting a few sales here and there. It was profitable, but in terms of scalability, it really didn't push past that $50 a day ad spend, unfortunately. But it was an avenue that I explored back in 2018. So I had knowledge on how to run Google Ads, which definitely helped me to get, you know, to help me get to where I am today, having that knowledge of Google Ads back in late 2018 and 2019. Now, 2019 was a very difficult year for me with e-commerce. My main store, and this was the only store I had at the time, it was dying down tremendously. I'll quickly cut back here. You can see a massive fall off here in March 2019 and things just really didn't you know take off for the rest of the year it was a really really quiet year i know you might think you know you're still doing a thousand dollars a day here but because i wasn't using facebook anymore my return on ad spend on these other platforms like snapchat and google were not that great so my profit margins were very very minimal and i really wasn't making much profit from my business at all during 2019. luckily i was making youtube videos still for the fifa side of things and that was bringing in a bit of income but overall 20, 2019 was a very very difficult year and overall in 2019 i just lost the love of you know running a business lost my love for e-com and really just lost all motivation for trying to make this work you know i could have easily sat there each day learning about google ads or any other ad platform that could potentially propel the business to the next level but i just didn't i was very lazy and it is very, very hard to get yourself out of that position. But towards the end of 2019, we had a new member of our family arrive and, and that was my little boy. He was born in November 2019 and, and that literally just kicked me back into gear. You know, I need to make this work. I need to provide for my family. So early 2020, once we'd settled down and things like that, we'd move house as well um, in early 2020. Once we'd settled down with the new house, obviously we've got the baby now. I had some time. Obviously, we were in lock. You know, we were in lockdown by February or March. I had time, more time, to run the business and focus on the business. And it was at this point I began to use my partner's Facebook account for Facebook ads again because I thought, you know, two years ago, back in 2018, this worked so well. The margins were crazy. I just had an urge to do it again and just be a bit more careful with you know Facebook policies and things like that. I still to this day don't know why I was banned back in 2018. Still no idea. Facebook never ended up responding to me after I submitted like two or three reviews. Just get an automatic response saying, no, look, you're banned. That's it. So anyway, I began running ads through my partner's Facebook account. All went smoothly to that, you know, to this day. That ad account is still fine. Obviously, I'm still using it for this website here. Just obviously different products now because we are no longer a women's clothing store. But really, really good. Really, really happy. And again, you know, thanks to lockdown, I'm sure a lot of us had a good amount of success with drop shipping if you were doing it during lockdown. I was doing $2,000 a day, some days with you know, 3K, about 1,500. So very, very consistent until the end of the year. Now, profit again was really good, 40 to 60% margins each day. And I think with lockdown, a lot of the big global brands pulled out of marketing from channels like Facebook. CPMs are really low and cost per purchase. I remember some days was about three, four pounds. It was just absolutely mental. But as normality began to restore in society again, Things did trickle off, you can see towards the end of October, uh, you know, back here. And I finally decided just to call this website quits at the end of 2020. Around, I think it was the last day of the year, I just said, right, I'm going to pause all ads. I left the site open, so that's why there are a few sales here and there. But no paid traffic was coming to this website anymore. I had seen people on Instagram and Twitter get some success with Google Ads. And the main thing that they were sort of advocating with Google Ads is, is the fact it provides so much consistency. Now, that really interested me because of how inconsistent my journey had been so far with dropshipping. My two or three year journey was just up and down constantly for about two or three year period. I, you know, I said to myself, I need this consistency to make this a business that is going to last, you know, longer than four months or something like that. 
unfortunately for me there really wasn't much content out there on youtube to learn google ads so i had to do quite a bit of it myself i remember consuming charlie brandt's videos again really good google videos but those sort of videos he's uploaded are, you know two years old now so they're a bit outdated google's always changing but we got there in the end and I then launched my UK website solely focusing on Google ads and I'll quickly load up the dashboard for that to show you when exactly we started in 2020. Okay, you can see we are on the dashboard now for my UK website. I launched solely with Google ads using a low budget testing strategy that I've actually uploaded to my channel so make sure you check that out. I launched, it looks like September of 2020 so we're basically two years old on this website now. Um, you can see quite a slow start, but a lot of people have asked me, you know, how long until I'm profitable with Google Ads? I mean, luckily for me with this UK site, I was seeing profit from day one straight away, but I can't stress enough. I spent about two months making this website, making it look professional, you know, mastering each product description in so much detail, making sure I've done SEOs correctly for all the products and the website in general. It took a lot of hours to get this right. And I believe that is the reason it started off so well and I was able to profit from it so quickly. And you can just see the consistency from the last two years on this site is just so much better. Obviously Q4 last year was such a good time. Black Friday we did a, uh, what one was it? There it was, 7.2K we did last Black Friday. So I'm hoping for a 10K plus this year because you can see already we're doing really well and it's not even Q4 just yet. And the total revenue from those, you know, two years is about is just under one point seven million pounds, which is just over two million dollars, I think. So adding this site and my American site alone, we are pushing four million dollars in sales, or, which is great. I mean, obviously, so, so happy with that. And out of this entire journey, Google Ads really has changed everything for me. And that's why most of the videos on my channel are Google Ads related, because I honestly can't stress enough. If you put the work in with Google Ads, if you get it right, and it is possible to get it right the results you're going to see are just you know for me life-changing they really really were now jumping back to the quickly black friday talk obviously seven thousand two hundred pounds we revenued on 2021 but if we just look here going back to when we launched we had we had literally launched in september then we had october pretty consistent you can see i know it's quite hard to see here but black friday two months after we launched i think i did about it looks here about six thousand pounds in revenue i distinctly remember the profit i made that day as well two and a half thousand pounds in profit in a single day on a site that had only been running ads for two months unbelievable and i'm not saying that to brag i really am not guys the purpose of this video is just to show you that it is possible not just with google ads but you know drop shipping isn't dead it still works really really well you just have to focus so much on your website the product pages there's so much more effort and detail you need to put in now and you really do need to make sure your customers are having a good experience as well to really benefit the longevity of your brand if you don't you won't last you know a matter of months unfortunately but now i don't want this video to drag on ridiculously because i've covered a lot of 2021 and 2022 in previous videos but 2021 essentially uk site you, you know doing great again and i thought this is going really well. Let, why not just duplicate this and put it on my American Shopify that's just sitting there dormant. Let's just add the products that are doing well in the UK, add them to my American site, run Google ads using the same methods that are working on my UK site. You know, you can see where I'm going with this. Lo and behold, at the moment, we are doing, you know, six, seven, eight K days with the methods that I was using. And after a month or so of adding these products and making sure this website had changed, you know, changed brand type and that sort of thing we launched the Google version of my USA site. Now, very, very slow start. I've touched on it in a few of my videos before. For about three months, sales were slow. We weren't profitable. We were just barely breaking even on this American site. And I can tell you now that is because I didn't have conversion tracking set up correctly on my Google Ads account, but I fixed it around New Year 2022, I believe. Yeah, 2022. And you can see literally since the turn of the new year of 2022, we have had really good consistency up until around June. You can see it was very consistent. And then all of a sudden we are seeing massive, massive climbs in daily sales. And that is because I did the big brave switch over 
two performance max campaigns from smart shopping now i know a lot of you are struggling with performance max campaigns and are and if you're not it's probably because you haven't switched over to them yet and you're a bit worried to do so because of the potential inconsistencies with them i completely get it i've made a few videos on them before so check those out as well but like i said at the start of the video I have my own Google Ads agency. We manage e-commerce websites just like these ones here. We implement the strategies that are obviously working for us, that are working for me and our other clients. You know, We're able to improve your business by using Google Ads because they are so powerful at the end of the day. So not really much else happened in 2021 other than just growing these two websites we've got currently, adding new products here and there, just optimizing everything, improving the back end like email marketing, email flows, setting up things like sms bump and that so if we finally just quickly touch on 2022 just before we end the video essentially again same as 2021 these websites are coasting along we are focusing heavily on performance max now for these two websites because that is how google is moving forward you know they're pushing performance max on us luckily for both of these websites it's doing really really well and one thing over the last six weeks or so that is also doing really really well is facebook ads now i believe this is to do not only with um, being able to use the best sellers I have on Google and then use them on Facebook because if they're proving themselves on one platform it doesn't necessarily mean they'll work on another one but there is a good chance and luckily for me it has worked and also due to the fact that most new dropshippers are joining they're starting TikTok ads everyone's over on TikTok trying to run ads over there and make some sales that way which to me Seems like the people that were using Facebook are now shifting over to TikTok, so it's opening up more space. You know, you know, I'm getting a bigger piece of the pie at Facebook because everyone's over advertising on TikTok. Personally, I haven't found much luck with TikTok. So for now, it is Facebook and mainly Google ads for both of these brands I have. And if you are wondering why this is flicked over, I'm recording this at eight minutes past midnight. That is why my dashboard has reset. So to wrap this video up, a quick um, conclusion if you like during the last five years I have learned a lot and some of the key points that you really should take on board from this is that to survive and have consistency you need to build a brand you need to build good customer experiences you need to have good online reviews and not only with the service you're providing make sure your products are good quality have good packaging arrive on you know in good time I still obviously drop ship from China but I work with a private agent that allows really good and quick shipping times to both uh, UK and USA and finally, set expectations. Be transparent. Don't say you can offer 48 hour or next day delivery when you clearly can't if you're drop shipping because that's going to get you nowhere. Let's be honest. It will just result in, you know, Facebook page score bans and things like that. So treat this as a proper business. Don't treat this as a make, you know, get rich quick scheme or whatever you want to call it. Drop shipping to make it work, you need a prop. You need to build a proper business with good products, good customer service, and if you do those few things right, you will see consistency and longevity with your brand. I hope you found this video, you know, useful, taking some points from it that you could possibly implement into your business. I mean, that is my entire drop shipping journey. A lot of ups and downs for the first two, three years, but we are now, you know, for this year especially, seeing results that, that I've never seen before, and obviously, you know, doing really well. So drop me a follow on Twitter and instagram links will be down below and if you've got any questions leave a comment but thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you in my next video